Hey guys and gals, happy new year. You're going to want to stay tuned to this video. We have some updates, arena codes, and cracking into one of my binders. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Josh, MOK, Magic TG. Happy New Year. Uh, Welcome to 2021. I uh, apologize. I have been absent longer than I wanted to. I uh, had a busy start to the new year at work. You know, you got to work before you play. Uh, and in order for me to play hard, I got to work hard. So it's uh, been a very busy start to the year. Um, additionally, I have had my attention pulled just a little bit in, a, uh, in another direction as I am playing a little bit with uh, investing in Pokemon. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's something new, but a, a really, really, really good friend, one of my best friends, is a super into Pokemon, got me into it. It's kind of like a drug almost. You know, you uh, you get a little taste and you want some more. So uh, I think I've cracked about a thousand packs of Pokemon in the last week or so. Uh, very interesting. Probably should have filmed it, but not a lot of people express an interest in wanting to see that here. I don't know if that means I should make another channel. I, I, I don't know what... I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if maybe he'll do that and I'll just hop in on his. But, uh, you know, I don't know. If y'all have more interest in seeing a little bit of that, let me know. Um, again, the primary focus is, is magic. And with that said, some other great news. Um, how about the fact that my uh, one of the collections that I bought that has been lost for like a month, literally coming up on a month that it's been sitting in the exact same spot in, in Atlanta... Uh, I filed an investigation. I was about to just give up and file the insurance claim when, uh, lo and behold, last night, or this morning, I checked, but last night, it shows that it's being processed and delivered. Uh, so maybe in the next uh, two or three days, I'll have that collection of, man, that is going to be a spicy video. I already know it's going to be spicy based on the pictures that I've seen and, and what cards are in there, what I paid for it. Um, some good good stuff so I'm excited about that but uh, speaking about collections this video today is just sort of showing uh, one of my little little binders um, I, I accidentally or not accidentally but in one of my previous videos I whipped my binder out uh, or not my binder but I whipped a binder out I should say I have like one two three four five six, I don't know I have like nine or ten uh, binders, a mix between these portfolios and actual hard, um, like three ring binders, uh, next to me because of different things I'm either currently working on or uh, binders that I have so that as I'm sorting uh, either collections or as I'm sorting boxes or packs that I've cracked um, and I'm keeping stuff for me or, or what have you, you know, I've got a binder for uh, uh, planeswalkers and I've got another binder for ha, I just realized <laughs> I just realized y'all can see that uh, I'm watching playoff football while I'm doing this uh, here let me uh, let me pause that uh, come back over here okay uh, sorry um, so much for football and magic at the same time right so uh, at any rate um, speaking of collections or well anyways I got these binders and I sort into them as they fill up I you know, storm away and, and sort more. Um, but at any rate, one of my videos, I pulled a binder out because I was looking for a card. I got confused between Vampiric Tutor and uh, some other cards. And um, uh, somebody had said, hey, I'd love to see in your binders. Um, so I figured, all right, we'll, we'll do one uh, to get started with. And so what this is, this is actually a binder where I stick cards of value from collections. Um, typically, these are ones that I don't sell. These are ones that I either keep for me or that I rotate back through later and look at and this binder in particular because I usually keep the, the the date from like when it is uh, is from about three years ago um, or let me rephrase that as far back as three years ago some collections that I was buying uh, as recent as a year uh, or so ago I don't think there's anything newer than a year I think it's a modern horizons uh, in here from from a, some other stuff that I got but um, some of the cards are obviously a lot older uh, but they're from collections that I bought over the last couple years. Um, and I'll kind of explain that as I go through because uh, I recently, in preparation of this video, had gone back through and, and uh, looked at some cards that 
I have these scanned into my inventory tracker, but I haven't looked at, I haven't specifically looked up some of these cards in, in a while. And uh, I was extremely shocked at, uh, at some of the value gain in, uh, in a few of these cards. Uh, it's insane. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's, let's get to looking at this little binder going down memory lane and uh, getting ready to be cracking some, some more packs. I've obviously got stuff I just need to crack in general, but we got a new set coming. We got new set boosters, collector collector boxes. We got we got all kinds of stuff coming, so we're gonna have some fresh stuff to crack on top of whatever else I got going around. So, at any rate, let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, at Zibinda right now. Woo! All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what we got here. There's some some fun stuff in here. Uh, you know, got some uh, Chromatic Sphere and Rith of the Awakener, Factor Fiction, some Counter Spells that I like from 7th. I usually pull Counter Spells a lot. Uh, sometimes they're worth more than others. Obviously Revised is making a nice push, but uh, this has been in here obviously since before then. Uh, Will of the Wisp, I've got some uh, Revised as well as uh, unlimited and uh, fourth edition. I meant to say fourth edition, revised and fourth edition. Some fast bond, animate dead, some more seventh edition with uh, Viduran, Verdi, Verduron, if I could talk. Enchantress. Dark rituals are always cool. I uh, like those. That's a little something different. Got a little uh, Ice Age. Counterspell. I told you I like to grab those counterspells. Glacial uh, crevices. So that used to be like a dollar. I haven't checked it, but the a long time ago that was a dollar. Uh, Snow-covered lands that I find when I'm going through collections. Those are Ice Age. But uh, Snow-covered island and plains. Those might be big with the new set about to come out. Um, got some more Ice Age Power Blast. Uh, Ice Cauldron. So obviously I must have gone through some Ice Age cards that I found in a set. Uh, looks like more revised. Got some Sarah Angel, Veteran Bodyguard. There's multiples of those in there. Uh, looks like some beta cards. I think we got some beta here, or here at least. Um, Iron Claw Orcs. Looks like there's more than one of those there. Looks like there's two at least that I got in there. Yep, cool. Um, <laughs> I haven't gone through these a lot in a while. Iron Claw Orcs, uh, we got the Prodigal Sorcerer, we got some Power Sync, Terror, Stone Rain, got some Legends here, Caracas, that's pretty pimp. From here it looks to be in really good shape. I don't, let's see, eh, I don't know, maybe a light play from what I can tell because I can see a little wear at the top already. Got some uh, Dark down here I think, is that the Dark? It is the Dark, Eater of the Dead. Some more Legends with Half Dane. Sixth Edition Boil. Got that uh, Tempest Ancient Tomb. Uh, let's see. Got some Nature's Lore Portal. I'm sorry, not Portal. Starter. Starter uh, set there. Volrath Stronghold. Okay, we got uh, some Antiquities. Urza's Tower. Arabian Nights. City in a Bottle. Nice, nice, nice. Demonic Tutor. Got some more Arabian Nights there. Island of uh, Whack Whack. This one is not what I recall. Oh, yeah. This is um, a moderate play. Maybe moderate play minus to heavy play plus. I mean, it's not damaged or anything, but it's somewhere between a moderate play and a heavy play. But it's still a pretty cool card. Uh, let's see. What else did we get? Let's see. Uh, got a Foil Green Seeker. Got some Zendikar. Uh, full Art Foils. Two different swamps and a forest. Is there just one of those in there? Yeah. Avatar Woe. Whoa. Whoa. 
There's a foil of braid. Pretty cool. Got some uh, guilds of Ravnica. Are those both? What's the deal there? Oh, uh, non-foil and foil. Okay, that's cool. Got some Commander Swiftfoot boots. There's a uh, Antiquities Power Artifact. Let's see what we got. We double sleeved. We're double sleeved. Ooh, okay. A little double sleeve action. What do we look like? I don't even remember. Ooh. Front surface, corners, edging looks good. And then I go and I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Back surface looks good. I'm going to go with, uh, at best, or at worst, I should say, light play plus. But this might be minty. That's a nice minty power artifact. I might have to pull that out and move it to a different binder. Uh, let's see. Urbog, Tomb of Yagmouth from Core 15. Another Antiquities, Urza's Mine with the claw picture. I like clone. There was a period where I was picking up clones. Uh, I got some revised clones, some beta clone. Uh, is that fourth or fifth? Might be fifth edition clone. Hard to tell. I'm not going to pull it out of the video. Nobody cares about that little thing. Caves of Koilos. Mizzix Mastery, some Commander. That's Commander 15 as well. Got some Phyrexian Arena and Dragon Arch. That's some cool stuff. That's a cool uncommon. Uh, what is this? Masters 25? Iconic. Iconic Masters. That's a foil Knight of the Reliquary. Arachnogenesis. I remember pulling this card. I think I bought this one. This Arachna uh, Genesis came out of um, a, a Goodwill lot that I bought. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I could have swore that came out of there. Polyraptor, Mystic Confluence. You know what? And I, I do think, so this uh, Savala, Heart of the Wilds, and I think I have more than one of these in here. I do, there's two. But uh, one of these at least, I think I remember pulling out of the uh, a Goodwill because I think this was in with it because what they did, or at least what this one Goodwill uh, location in particular did that I bought it from, they had sorted them by color. And so I remember... I remember Savala and that, uh, I could, I think there was an exploration too. I may not, I don't know if that's in here, but I think I remember there being an exploration. Might've been a foil exploration as well that I remember pulling out of one of the Goodwill, uh, collections that I bought. Tendrils of Agony, got some Unstable, Secret Base, some Contraptions, Dog Snail Engine, Goblin Slingshot. Those are all foil. Got a little Tarnish Citadel. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Foil. Some more Commander, Urza's Incubator. Command Beacon. Uh, as Foretold. Foil. More uh, unstable, looks like. Uh, let's see. Promo card. Um, Fire Song and Sun Speaker. You know, sometimes these promo cards can, you know, don't let these, uh, don't go to sleep on these. Um, these buy box cards or, um, pre-release cards, you know, a lot of people lump them into regular foils or think they're bulk, but I mean, I don't know. I think this was only a dollar, maybe two, but I mean, you can find these all the time in collections. Uh, and then I do remember, I think the next couple pages were out to go on, uh, collection I bought that was super heavy in the Alara block between shards, conflux, Alara, and, uh, got some really good stuff out of there. Uh, foil fate stitcher. Some Esper Charms, got some Lands, Maelstrom Pulse. These all go anywhere from a dollar, uh, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen dollars. There's more Lands, some more Uncommons, some Rares. Um, Bloodbraid Elf is pretty cool. Predator Dragon. Uh, the the Grixis uh, Panoramas. So Bant, Naya, Jund, Grixis. The Sigils, pretty cool. Malfagor. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oblivion Ring is pretty cool. Wall of Denial, Mindlock Orb, Violent Outburst. Oh, so now we're 
uh, Dragon Mage. Actually, um, that was that one shocked me because I thought it was all shards of Alara block, but this collection I bought had some uh, some like scars of Mirrodin and Scourge and stuff in it too. Um, let's see here. Metal Worker is pretty cool. It's always a fun one. There's a Demonic Tutor. Elvish Visionary, so still on some Alara block here. Sphinx Sovereign. Blightning. I always love that artwork. Uh, I think that got a reprint in Iconic Masters or Masters 25, and I, I like the artwork on that one too. Uh, the Sphinx. Scattershot Archer. That might have been in that Goodwill collection maybe. I can't remember. Because there was a lot of good green cards in that one. Uh, City of Brass. Nice 8th edition card there. Nice. Um, and then here's that Modern Horizon. So I bought this collection, I think. It was either earlier this year or last year. Or might have been late last year. I don't know. And I say a collection. It was really smarty just unloading a bunch of modern cards, current stuff. And I, I picked it up. So, I mean, there's a foil... Uh, Snow-Covered Island. There's actually, I think, more than one in there. Uh, of course, the land cycle for Modern Horizons was pretty solid. So, Waterlawed Grave, Silent Clearing, Sunbaked Canyon, The Islet, uh, Windows Vista, as Rudy calls it, but Prismatic Vis Vista. Uh, Season Pyromancer Foil, pretty awesome card. Uh, Hogak, of course, Band. Uh, so, it was just some good Modern Horizon cards. Uh, this is one that I was really interested to, uh, that I really liked finding. Um, Richard Garfield, PhD, foil uh, card. And uh, this bad boy from Unhinged. So if I had to guess, because it wasn't a huge collection that I bought this one from, I want to say there was maybe, I don't know, I think maybe a couple, maybe a hundred, 200 cards. It was small. It was a nice little block of, uh, of cards. So, you know, I put roughly, you know, the value of what I paid for this, it may be around, you know, 50, $75. When you look at, you know, what I paid per card for the lot, uh, that this was in and it had some good and bad stuff in there. I happened to look this up the other day in preparation for this video. And, uh, I was shocked that this is supposedly a thousand dollar card now. Um, so I don't know if that's just the bull market and magic going on, but nonetheless, uh, I've got, I've got some good equity there. Um, let's see what else we got here. Elvish champion, I think came out of that goodwill. Got a few more beta cards here. Just frozen shade, blue ward, drain life. Got some Exodus. Mind over matter. I think there's more than one of those in there. Yep. And so these cards right here, these couple ones, these mind over matter and stasis. I remember pulling these also out of a, um, uh, it wasn't like a shop goodwill. I think it was like a salvation army. My sister-in-law just knows that I'm into magic and she was at, um, she was at salvation army and saw that they had a, um, an old school cardboard sleeve, like the thousand card, uh, box and it had you know magic cards or whatever and they were selling it for like 15 bucks and she bought it and uh and i pulled these two mind over matter and stasis there may have been a couple other little things i can't remember i wonder if these cards were in there now actually i think there was homelands and stuff like that in there so uh or this isn't homelands anyways this is torment gosh i can't remember there was a few other cards in there, but I can't remember if I traded them in or, or kept them. But I do remember very vividly these were inside of, um, inside of the that uh, goodwill or yeah, goodwill, um, or Salvation Army uh, box that my sister in law got. Got a little Armageddon action, uh, Urza Saga, Darkest Hour. Um, I don't even think that's really worth. I don't think Darkest Hour is really worth like, but like a buck maybe. But I just like it. Urza Saga was a set when I was young that I liked. Chainer's Edict, Filth. There's that exploration, that foil one. Um, maybe I didn't pull this foil one out of the Shop Goodwill online auction. Maybe I pulled this one out of that Salvation Army box that these were in since it's over here. Um, now that I think about it, it's kind of fun. Lord of the Pit, 
Greed, the Diabolic Tutor. Uh, of course, you know, Swords to Plowshare, you can find those a lot, but if it's the right set, they're over a dollar. Buried Alive, Cabal Ritual, Sadistic Hypnotist. A lot of these uncommons, some of these are, are actually worth some money. So when you're digging through collections, you know, it's not just the rares. You know, look through for those commons, uncommons. Cleansing medi Meditation. Got some more uh, beta. Dark Ritual. Uh, little legends there. Under Underworld Dreams. Uh, Chronicles. Ashnod's Altar. Uh, so Chronicles, a lot of the cards in there aren't really worth a ton, but there's a few that are. Ashnod's Altar, I think, is a couple bucks. Uh, Strip Mind. Strip Mind. Strip Mine. Uh, counter spells. Oh, this is a little page of counter spells I put together from sorting through cards and stuff. So I think the M25, it might be under a dollar, but again, counter spells are always kind of a good one to, to hold on to. So I think that might be a play set of them in there. Nope, just two. Okay, well, found two of them. Uh, masquerades, um, counter spell, uh, Tempest. Can't tell with the lighting, it's bad in here today. I think that's revised counter spells. What do we got here? Oh, a couple little cool things to, to finish. Uh, M20, Lotus Field, Foil, uh, Bat to Basics from Saga, Urza's, and uh, Leovold Emissary of Trust as well from uh, Conspiracy 2. And then uh, that's a this is a cool one, a Vampiric Tutor promo, which actually. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember if that was like in. I think I was in. Uh, it was in like a binder, actually about the same size as this one. A small, um, a small binder, a collection, if you will. Uh, like it was somebody's. I guess maybe it was their personal binder, their best cards. But it was. It was in there, and that was a pleasant surprise uh, because that card alone. That little set that I bought, I think I only paid like 200 bucks, and it, I haven't looked this one up in a minute. I want to say that was, is a, I can't remember, I think that's $100, but uh, that like almost paid for, uh, paid for that one. So that's, that's one of them. Uh, I was trying to get a better camera so that there wouldn't be a glare and I could zoom in and stuff, but I couldn't find it and I wanted to hurry up and film this video. I got a, I have a different camera around that I'm going to start trying to play with, but, um, I got to learn how to use it. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed that. Tell me if there's more that you want me to do. If you want me to slow down, if you want me to speed up, if you want me to focus in on cards, if there's certain ones that interest you more, the super old stuff like the beta or whatever, or legends or the dark, you know, ABU or, or whatnot. Here is an arena code. And why not? Let's do two. Let me dig back here. Here's, here's another one. Here's a different, different code. So there's some marina codes. Um, remember, we've got the giveaway. I think I'm about 20 or 30 subs away, but at 175, we're giving away vintage magic packs. The dark is shooting through the roof. We got Exodus, we got Stronghold, I got Tempest, I got Weatherlight, I got some other things. So we got some of that. Um, trying to think what else. I don't know, I got all kinds of stuff, but hey, uh, I'm gonna try to wrap this up. It's a little long, but if you needed something to look at, have some fun with it. We got lots of content coming. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for everything. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. Tell me what you want more from me. And uh, until next time, deuces.